Happy Wednesday, everybody. Pastor Dan here. I am recording this video on a snowy Tuesday morning here in Brockport. Hopefully you're enjoying the, the flurries we've been getting and embracing yourself for potentially more snow this Thursday. But um, if, you, if you read the little blurb under this video on the first forward or if you read the description on YouTube, you already have an idea of what I need to share with you. Church leadership met earlier this week, the uh, church council staff and myself, to discuss our plan moving forward with COVID spiking across the country and across the state. And we have decided to suspend in-person gatherings at church beginning Sunday, December 27th. That means we're still going to offer in-person worship this Sunday, the 20th, but after Christmas, we will be going remote. And we are going to stay remote, having everyone worship online via the live stream through at least the end of January. Now, there's a few reasons we've made this decision. Uh, first, the situation out there is pretty dire. Uh, I think we've kind of become used to it almost. We're, we're sort of numb at this point to COVID, but we are losing in the United States 3,000 people a day. And all the experts expect that to continue for the foreseeable future. The, the U.S. just passed 300,000 deaths earlier this week. That's 109 I can't even wrap my mind around that. It's unfathomable. And while uh, our area here in Brockport is doing better than many, we are still seeing infection rates rise. We're seeing hospitalization rates go up uh, here in Monroe County. And according to the state's ICU bed database, Highland Hospital and Strong Memorial Hospital are already at 90% and 80% capacity, respectively. It's scary. So here's the deal. Brockport is still in the safe zone, quote unquote. Thankfully, we, we haven't gone yellow yet. We haven't gone orange. That is awesome. Praise God for that. But we want to keep it that way. With the surge we are seeing right now, um, church leadership really feels that if we wait until we are at orange or yellow to stop gathering together in person, we will be contributing to the problem, almost guaranteeing that the situation gets worse. We don't think that's a very good way to love our neighbors. We don't think that's a very good way to honor God, and I don't personally think that's a very good way to lead and pastor this congregation. So we have decided to suspend in-person gatherings after Christmas, and we're going to stick with online worship through at least the end of the month of January. Just try to get through this surge that we're expecting to see after Christmas, a surge on top of the surge we are already experiencing. Now here's what that means. For those of you who already worship with us online, nothing is going to change. You're still going to be able to find the online worship stream on our church website, on Facebook, and YouTube every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. The recording of that will still be available to watch throughout the week. And then for those of you who have been attending church in person, this Sunday is going to be our last in-person gathering for a while. And then from then on, you're going to be able to stream the service live uh, from home through all the channels I just mentioned, church website, Facebook, and YouTube. Now, one other change we've decided on, uh, and, and this is actually an exciting one, we have hired Morgan Young to serve as our new tech guru. Morgan's going to be in the control room every single Sunday, helping to make sure that our live stream runs as smoothly as possible. Many of you who've been worshiping uh, with us online already know this, but we have had some pretty big hiccups with the live stream along the way. Um, it doesn't always work like it's supposed to. We have had a rotation of volunteers covering that with uh, each volunteer serving once or maybe twice a month. And that's just not enough experience. That's not enough time on the equipment to really learn the system and catch and fix all the stuff that can potentially go wrong, all the little issues that can pop up. But Morgan is really sharp. She's really good at what she does. Um, she has worked on the equipment more than anyone else, uh, more than me even, and we are in really good hands with her taking that over. Morgan's also the person who uploads the audio recordings of our sermons each and every week. She's been doing that for months. So if you listen to our sermons online, you have Morgan to thank for that. And she is a very natural fit for this new technological challenge. That's our plan moving forward. That's what we're looking at. I wish I had better news. Uh, but at the same time, I'm really glad that our church is led by a team of people who are taking this situation seriously and committed to doing our part to help stop the spread. I'll see you at worship this Sunday, either in person or online, and then from the 27th onward, we'll see you online only. Grace and peace.